In this video, we will see how to read and write an Excel file using a popular open source package called OpenXLSX without any Java dependencies. OpenXLSX simplifies the creation of Excel files by providing a high-level interface to read, write, and format Excel worksheet with the added benefit of removing the dependency on Java. So, let's use the first import function load workbook. It loads and returns a workbook object conserving the style and the format of the original .xlsx file. To use the function, install the package openxlsx, then call the package using library openxlsx, load the Excel workbook in wb load workbook sample.xlsx. If we check the class of wb, it will show us a class workbook. To know more about the features of load workbook, use openxlsx load workbook. Now, to read the workbook in wb, we will use read workbook function. So, let's read the first Excel sheet from wbr object that is sample.xlsx file. rwb underscore store. Read workbook wb sheet is equal to 1. Here we can either give the sheet name or the index value. Both works the same. We can also read the Excel sheet directly from a physical file. So let's read the second Excel sheet directly from sample.xlsx file. Here I have used sheet name instead of the sheet index value. View the R object RWB underscore bike to view the data. We can optimize our query for reading large data sets simply by providing column and row range by using calls and rows. We have successfully loaded some Excel data in our R Studio. Now let's learn how to create a workbook to save all those Excel data in one place. To create a workbook, type the workbook name our object CWB, then simply declare the function create workbook, then workbook created. And to add a new sheet, type add worksheet CWB the R object where we want to create a new sheet, comma, then the sheet name, for example, new sheet one. Next is write data. Write data writes an object to worksheet. To show you how the write data function works, let's load a workbook, for example, sample.xlsx. Names wb to list the available worksheets in the workbook. Create an empty worksheet in the workbook wb. Again, names wb to check if it has been added successfully or not. Yes, we have our new worksheet labeled as new underscore sheet. Read a sample worksheet, for example, store sheet from the workbook wb and save it in an R object. Then using the write data function, use the R object rwb to save it in a sheet named as new underscore sheet from the wb workbook. Now save the workbook in the disk using save workbook r object wb comma my first workbook dot xlsx the file name to be saved as let me open the excel file to show what we have done so far here we can see that using write data function we wrote store data in a new sheet save workbook we have already seen how save workbook function works. However, this parameter overwrite is equal to true indicates to write any existing file. Now, there is another package to read the Excel file is read underscore Excel package. Again, with the added benefit of removing the dependency on Java. Now, to use the function install read Excel, then define the Excel file, like for example, sample.xlsx comma, sheet index value or else even the sheet name will do. 
Done. Complete. To view the data, use view the R object by workbook. Next, we will see how to import data from popular databases like Microsoft SQL Server using RODBC package.